Hello and welcome to another open, open ship tutorial. In this video we are going to see how to add cluster storage to an existing open ship cluster. In this I am selecting an enterprise version. If you want to try the origin version, I will try to make a different video. The code or the sample commands for this video tutorial are available at this location. First of all, I have a OpenShift cluster which has about three nodes, two infrastructure nodes and one master node. And each node has a label called type equal to app. And each node has a unused disk that is at this location dev std on each node this is a unformatted disk okay i'm going to use this disk as my storage for cluster for that i need to edit my inventory file So the first step is to add a new OSC v3 children item which is nothing but cluster fs and next we need to add some OSC3 variables storage namespace is cluster fs where the cluster infrastructure will be provisioned like hkt pod and then all the Parts that require that are required under clusterfs are provisioned under this clusterfs namespace. I'm going to add this in the variable section. You can add it at the top or bottom; it doesn't matter. And then at the end, we need to declare the clusterfs hosts. In this, I'm using nodes, uh, OpenShift nodes as clusterfs nodes but you can have separate infrastructure nodes for storage itself i'm going to declare these values here dev sdd is correct in our case that's what we have but the nodes are node names are different I'm going to correct those node names. And then save this file. And once you have that, all you need to do is run this playbook again. Before I run this, I want to make sure I install cluster fuse package on all nodes for that I'm going to use this command which basically installs cluster fuse package on all the nodes looks like it is already installed so I can skip it then run the OpenShift deployment again if your inventory file is located somewhere else not in HC Ansible host file you need to mention minus i and then give the inventory file location with that i'm going to rerun the openshift installer it takes about 15 to 20 minutes for everything to get completed and then you should see cluster provisioning on your openshift cluster once the installation is complete you will see a new storage class called cluster storage class which you can use for your OpenShift storage. I'm going to pause here and then come back once the installation is finished. Cluster storage is now configured on this OpenShift cluster on these three nodes. I would like to discuss some gotchas uh, for a successful installation of this cluster cluster one thing uh, you need to keep in mind is you need at least three nodes cluster nodes so that 
um, cluster can have a highly available storage. If you have less than three, then your installation may not work. And also, all these nodes should have a label called type equal to app. That's what I observed, but this may be wrong. When I didn't have this type equal to app no label, it failed. So just make sure you apply this label. Once I have the storage installation done, let's see how we can consume the storage. I have a sample application called welcome, which is running in under dev namespace. What I want to do is I want to attach a some storage to this application. So as a developer, I just go to storage and then click create storage. There will be a new class called cluster storage. And then you can give my welcome storage. And then you can provision the storage in different access modes. I'm going to choose read write multiple. You need to put at least one gigabyte. Um, I don't think cluster works less than one gigabyte. Just make sure you give the minimum size requirement and hit create. Now in a couple of seconds, this will go and provision a cluster storage volume. You can see it is now ready. Now that this is ready, we can go and attach the storage to our application. So click on our application, go to configuration, and then at the bottom we have add storage option. This is automatically selected. If it is not selected, select the appropriate storage. This is the one which I provisioned before. So I want this storage to be mounted at this location of my container and then click on add. Now you'll see a redeployment of my application by attaching storage at that location. I can see it is spinning up a new part which and then attach storage to that particular part. Okay. Now if I go to terminal and then slay slash data, you can see that path is there. So whatever is, whatever uh, you store at this location will be saved automatically. With that, I conclude this uh, cluster storage installation. Thanks for watching.